Hi there, I'm Mary Ann, your staff training coordinator, and today I'd like to talk about some new functionality that we have in our virtual classroom. Uh, I'm going to go over to our Moodle installation, which lives on our Staff Space server. You can always access this from a library staff machine by visiting Staff Space slash Moodle or by using the link at the top of the tabs on Staff Space. So we have added several new pieces of functionality to this. Um, the first thing I'd like to show you is that we do have some new courses and I'm going to click on the link in the latest news block. And you can see all of our Course, new courses that we've added. There will be a few more, and so if you would like to subscribe to this forum, you'll there's a link right up here at the top. Now, right now it says unsubscribe, and I can do that as well. Um, let me go ahead and choose a new course to show you some reporting functionality, um, and I think I'll choose the new course by David, our reference librarian, and he's given us some information on how to conduct a reference interview. I'll go ahead and use this link. Now notice when I click on it, it is going to ask me if I'd like to enroll in the course. And I'm going to go ahead and say yes. It does not commit me to anything yet, but I want to click the link because I'd like to see the course materials. And so notice that now we have a blank. Oh, there it is. There's our image uh, from his slide set. Now I have a link that says unenroll me from this course if I prefer not to continue. As I go down, I see the courseware. And I see we have a video, a presentation handout, as well as some online learning from the Ohio Library Council that David did mention in his um, video earlier. And when I'm finished with all of this, I will click on the final topic in the course, which is titled Finish This Course. And note that it says this is an opportunity to let us know that we've seen the course material and to reflect on our learning. And there are no grades, however, there is a grading method which shows below. I did get, just get an email saying that I had enrolled. I do want to attempt the quiz now. And for question number one, I'm going to answer yes. I have reviewed all the course material. And here I can write a descriptive essay on what I've learned. It doesn't have to be very long. Just let us know that you understand the material. And then when I'm finished, I'll go to the bottom and I can I have three options. Save without uh, submitting, submit page, or submit all and finish. I'm going to go ahead and click submit all and finish and now I have a dialog box that says once I close this attempt I'll no longer be able to change my answers. Okay. And now there is a review of my first attempt. You see I have answered the question correct. Um, and it did give me marks for this submission, and really I have to do that. That's the only way that I can tell um, when someone has uh, participated in the courseware using this method. I'm going to finish review. And, of course, I can reattempt it if I need to. When I go back into the courseware, and there's my email letting me know I've completed. It also sends me, uh, as the training coordinator, an email as well. So I can see my grades here in the course administration block. So that's it. We have a new reporting tool. You no longer have to email me and let me know that you have finished a course. Everything is available for you right there in our Moodle installation. I hope this is helpful to you. Please be sure and let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.